quickly it's regarding this really crazy kind of backlash that's been happening with Mawa Loa, um, Mawa Lola, sorry, where she's been facing a lot of controversy and scrutiny from people from Saudi Arabia because she used a flag in her recent show here during London Fashion Week, which people have been going absolutely crazy about. People are not liking the fact that she used a Saudi Arabian flag on a miniskirt on the runway, which is a pretty, if you look at it just from a reference and a you know, and a fashion point of view, it's a pretty clever way to do the flag, right? To put it on a miniskirt, you know, a, a flag like Saudi Arabia, considering, you know, their way of life and how they go about things over there. That kind of juxtaposition is pretty cool to see. But of course, um, it wasn't received well by people over there or by people um, from the Islamic faith and shit. And what I didn't know was that the flag isn't meant to be used on clothing or any shape, shape or form because it features some um, holy words or scriptures on there. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm not going to lie. So um, when people were getting outraged, I had to do my readings and find out. But then I guess what people were annoyed about was the fact that uh, Mao Lola decided to double down on it and kind of do a bit of a Kanye. And I think people kind of did the correlation because Kanye and Bianca Sensori, his wife, were on the front row and they're obviously very close. And she obviously was the former design director of the Yeezy Gat thing because before that kind of fell by the wayside. But um, she was trying to lean into it and use it as a kind of point to kind of launch off her brand and get some clicks and engagement online. But I guess the pressure was just too much and Saudi Arabian Twitter just et her up. Like I remember reading her initial kind of like Crimea River response on social media that's what she said she posted the picture people were like arguing about the picture online and then she was like oh it's how can a how can a mini skirt be an act of war and then she was like cry me a river and that cry me a river thing just pissed people off and the amount of um comments i saw underneath her tweet or a kind of post that were written in arabic were crazy and i bet they were going off i didn't translate any of them i just kind of just scrolled by all these uh, tweets in arabic and i was like rah she's getting it so i think the pressure was just too much and she could handle it so that's the only really disappointing thing about it. i think if you're going to troll if you're going to use these things to kind of propel your brand you got to stand on it you got to say it with your full fucking chest you got to really just stand in your shit like like what yay would do and just kind of be like no nah, I'm, I'm not saying sorry no apologies done and just kind of double down on your thing whatever the circumstances may be but if you're a smaller designer like Mao Lolo is you really can't afford these sort of things right these are the these are the luxuries only really afforded to people like Kanye who is a genius in his sort of fields of expertise is a world famous person in general he's going to be afforded some you know he's going to be afforded some some of these sort of things but even him we even saw he even has a ceiling he thought he could get away with saying whatever he wanted to adidas and they even told him to skedazzle so there's always a ceiling with these type of things but if you're going to do it for marketing sakes for engagement sakes for variety sakes stand in your shit don't pussy out of it um when the people that you you knew you were going to offend get offended you know that's the thing that i don't really understand but hey let's read the article give more background on it Cuts to a fashionista. It says, um, Mawa Lola, designer of the, the eponymous ready to wear label Mawa Lola, presented the brand's spring 2020 collection in London Fashion Week. The 28 year old sent several mini skirts and designs of international flags printed on them down the runway, including those of Japan and United Kingdom, and one in question of Saudi Arabia. Um, that what makes the latter stand out is that Saudi Arabian flag has an Islamic um, shahada written across it, a sacred text of the Muslim faith, which is translates to English as there is no god but god muhammad the messenger of god because of the phrase the flags are considered holy making printing the flag onto clothing a blasphemous act so it doesn't even matter that it was a leather skirt that it was a fucking mini skirt it matters mostly that it was printed on clothing don't do that and of course if it's a mini skirt no and of course if it's on a whitey of course no right <laughs> um immediately following the Lola presentation observers took to the designer's instagram page mass commenting emojis of the flag and asking um Mara Lola to respect the text and apologize for the designs. The designer then took to X, previously known as Twitter, to seemingly mock the comment posting Crimea River, a mini skirt being an act of war in 2023 is dystopian. Those posts have since been deleted. Okay, cool. I need to see this um Instagram post of hers where she posted because I didn't know she posted on Instagram. I just saw the comments and the and the fucking hullabaloo on what you call it on um on uh Twitter. Let's see what she on X. Let's see what she said on there. There's no post here from the actual collection, but let's see what they said here. Oh, there's 1,000 comments on here. Or oh, is that mistaken? Yeah, okay, cool. So they're definitely going to say something here. There's 1,000 comments on this post. They can't be just, you do a great job, you're a great designer. No way. Let's see what they say here. Okay, see? 
there's the there's a flag there's the side <laughs> flag. the post is thank you to my team no this is the post is dreams come true got to watch my show for the first time yay and bianca you're my angels thank you to my team of the world my family i love you always um showing up for me you raised me to be fearless thank you london yeah but you shouldn't again if you're gonna if you're gonna troll you're gonna be whatever just don't say sorry in it stand in your shit um it, it was a little bit people went a bit ott with like how they went at her don't get me wrong she probably could have approached it better and apologized sooner but if you actually did it on purpose which i think she did she's a smart girl she designs she, her references are pretty on point especially when it comes to logo designing and all that sort of stuff she, she knows what she's doing if that's the case it's just standing your shit in it it's not it's not that big of a deal people would have forgot about it in a week anyway but hey it continues um the response is here what is this face of a notebook or we are what is this a face or a notebook i don't know what that means we love you says betsy johnson more flags is there a way to watch it online so sad i missed it love you say no more one thousand comments is crazy bro we will not allow the saudi flag and the world um monotheism to be insulted uh keep breaking the internet ma someone's sucking a dick um let's see anybody else on here let's continue we've got vomits vomit emojis loads of Saudi Arabian emojis here uh having the ability to put together in Nigeria and London you, okay that's a sucking her off as well more more uh, the Saudi Arabian emojis are pretty plentiful but a lot of our fans are showing out so well, well done to the fans actually and the friends and supporters are actually flooding the comments too they're not just letting the 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 people who don't like us say stuff let's continue more see if there's anything more on here nope nope more hearts more love my little putting nigeria on the on the map uh let's continue here love goat emojis heart emojis okay it says a thousand but they're not all hate they're mostly a lot of love here okay that's good that's good to see i'm not gonna lie it's good to see all the love here mostly mostly love where can i work okay cool let's go to the one that said three thousand this one fifty three thousand oh my god fifty three thousand comments as a Saudi, I find this really ignorant and offensive. This person says the first one here. So big up you, stay seven. Um, she thinks she did something there. Provocation is awesome, but it has to have tasteful limits. I don't know if I agree with that one. There's like taste is taste is subjective, isn't it? It really is, especially when it comes to provocation. It's really subjective, and the whole point of provocation is to get you provoked. So if you provoked, you, she won, essentially anyway continues is this case cultural um in this case cultural and religious um ideas are finite you're better off provoking elsewhere there's no excuse of being an idiot or an in 2023 either dystopia is largely a very deep state of misinformation vanity and crime and even there you won't survive with your intellect lastly your collection sucks big time gal wow okay what the fuck how you dare to insult our country in a way that is not acceptable remove the saudi flag from our designs um saudi flag with an arabic what's his arabic um word say uh sorry something say sorry i guess another one we in the gulf do not accept placing the saudi flag anywhere please respect everybody and apologize particularly to saudi arabia the arabian gulf and the arabian people you will not be becoming a successful designer if you insult the saudi flag a successful person does not climb on the people's shoulders to insult them for how many saudi dollars in the crown of your head okay do not put the Saudi flag in your designs because it contains the word Islam and it is sacred. Um, we do not allow you to insult the Saudi flag and it's scum. The Saudi flag is a red line. You need to do an extensive research before you use our cultural references for your collections. Another one, do not use the Saudi flag in your bad, ugly designs. There is respect, kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So what they're saying, if, if she designed better, then they would accept it or they just it's just another insult to add to it, like another kick while you're down. Um, the name of Allah, this is the name of Allah. The kingdom of Saudi is a red line. You played with fire. Stop now. Oof. I don't know. I'd be scared. I'm not going to lie. Moa Lola is a way more, you know, tougher person than I am because I would have removed that ASAP. I would have written a fucking inst notes apology app in, you know, in the same time that it was just happening. So anyway, that happened. Let's continue back to the article. Um, as pleased to apologize this online, uh, Moa Lola took to X to once more apologize, which I got the apology here. She officially decided to apologize and she said as follows. 
One of the key inspirations for spring summer 2024 was to use the national flags of different countries. After the show, I found out that one of these flags, Saudi Arabia, features the sacred words and its use has caused great offence. Now that I've been educated on this topic, I sincerely apologise. She doesn't. She's not sorry at all. This comes from a PR person. She didn't write this. For this, I will ensure this design is removed from the collection. I deeply regret any hurt feelings or offence my oversight may have caused. Thank you for your holding me accountable. I appreciate your understanding as i learn from this experience ah, pr all the way but anyway you got respect you got to do what you got to do to keep the lights on anyway apology not accepted did they not teach you that art and design the first step in this is to study design and know its meaning no oh up your nose wow Some, someone quoted the tweet that she said cry me a river what was your point of this you don't know her life or her context of what she was referring to it's nice that you wanted to be inclusive but it's imperative that you thoroughly research what's been put into the collection i don't know why people are assuming she doesn't know what she did she clearly did know what she was doing this girl is a smart cookie like you don't get as far as she has gotten in the industry doing what she's doing without being smart she's definitely clued up look at her designs look at her references she knows what she's doing the whole point of it was to provoke she just didn't know it would go probably this far or maybe she did but you know she kind of caved because you have to cave um but i guess it's not i was honestly really enjoying your collection until i stumbled upon until what's it say until i stumbled upon uh but just so i just stumbled upon that piece but your initial reaction being crimea river to thousands of your of your consumer demographic being upset was extremely childish and downright bigoted as a black woman i truly expected more from you i hope this is a learning experience that your art doesn't have to be offensive to make a statement mm, but that's the thing though isn't it? when you're a smaller brand you need all the help you can get to kind of get yourself out there man these brands are not surviving on their work alone so unfortunately she's gonna have to play these games more often than not to kind of get going and i'm sure this is probably the biggest buzz she's had probably since the yay connections and shit so unfortunately it does work um the replies in here are wild crimea river i don't know if they work so in terms of sales though that's what i've always wondered yes you're viral yes people are talking about you but does it actually translate in sales that's probably the other thing to kind of put out there crimea river loads of you know arabic um tweets here Saudi Arabian flags PR didn't work fast enough Bookie um, the damage is done what's Bookie is that, is that like a racial slur they're calling it a Bookie I don't know um, this is all we wanted and we understand that you do not know the teachings of our religions and the importance of that but it must be always to but it must always be defended in front of everyone to avoid this happening again thank you too late sorry not accepted cry more Oof. Jesus okay cool so they're not happy as you can see they people are not happy in the slightest and then we continue here there's um her basically saying on her flipping tweet here somebody posted the quote of her saying crimey river and said this was your first reaction to it so this feels incredibly performative and insincere you're only sorry now because of the backlash is um because your backlash because you got the backlash you deserved this person says and she replies and quotes and says apologizing doesn't take anything from me forgiveness is the is the greatest superpower but what would you rather i should hang myself is that what's more deserving you know what's funny though that's what they want in cancer culture that's actually what people want but they're too afraid to say it when someone does something they, they don't like they actually do want you to die that's actually the truth of it they want you to die they want you to, they want you to d e a d they want you comatose r.i.p you know airbrush t-shirts your mama crying that's what they want go fund me like they want that they actually want you dead um they don't actually want remorse they don't they don't actually want um uh forgiveness or repentance or you know for you to do better no um and i think in this case they've got a reason because you know you did double down and triple down so you can't expect these guys to give you grace when you didn't give them grace right you can't really expect that but i do think the uh, the underlying part about social media or like cancer culture in general is that that really sinister foundation of people just wanting you to die when you do something they don't like um and i think her not understanding it and also trying to be a provocateur on asian of chaos is something that's a bit odd and i think that's the kind of come from the Kanye the kanye school of provocation in it that's something i'd always never understood from him you can't get annoyed about people being annoyed about your white lives matter t-shirt even if it's true expression to you you should also understand that people are going to be agitated by it but you should not care because it's your truest form of expression but i remember him being annoyed that people were annoyed that he put a white lives matter shirt down a runway it's like bro what do you expect you know what i mean you know it's going to cause unrest don't now complain that people are feeling unrest just let it live 
just you know keep it strumming keep it moving anyway more people saying cry me river she's saying great song tap in she got a good ratio there so big up her girls talking to these nobodies so talking to okay calling that person nobody i it's cries a river just apologize and thanks there are other ways to apologize you must learn from your mistakes before you reach your goal even with the protection of the country in which you live oh it's a bit sinister isn't it what do you mean there what do you mean there bro like <laughs> what you must learn from the mistakes before you reach your goal even with the protection of your country in which you live. The Saudi flag is sacred. It contains a word, there is no God but God and Muhammad is the messenger of God. I see your return to Nigeria as the best solution because your designs are all so bad. Yo, there's there's veiled threats, racism, like, what one here? <laughs> Were they calling her monkeys in the comments and shit? Because this is, this is giving, this is giving like monkey. It's giving monkey, isn't it? It's giving you people. What's going on here? And then you go liking stuff like this. What's she liking? I went private and put um, your flag is on my pussy in my bio. And that's where I'll leave that. Like you want to call me garbage. Well, I'll meet you there. Oh, because of the... Oh, I get it. I understand. They're saying the hypocrisy of all this because of their country's very... Um, uh, questionable human rights and you know the way they treat people from the lgbtq community oh i understand where this is coming from so that's the counter narrative that exists out there why should we respect your flag when you you as a nation don't respect the people that we care about the most or even maybe black people maybe there's a whole conversation around slavery over there and most of the maids and the people are from you know third world countries i don't know maybe there's a whole conversation around that i get I, I guess but two things can be right you can be agitated and aggravated that she's using the flag that way and they can also have a reason to feel um vindicated to use it because there's a lot of questionable human rights violations over there as well maybe but i see where they're coming from okay okay i, I see what's going on here um again it's just a lack of being able to articulate your point in it that's the thing again this is another kanye thing like you know he does the provocation he gets annoyed with people are annoyed by his provocation and then he also isn't a really good communicator in terms of hey this is why i did this thing you don't need to explain your art but if you do want to if you do want to have a certain position in certain things you probably should explain why your position is that in it but hey what do i know um if you don't realize hanging stuff oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. if you don't realize hanging yourself is exactly what they want your moo moo and that is exactly why you should not have apologized they will use your apology as an apparent, as a permanent admission of guilt. And as far as they're concerned, the guilty should be killed. Well, yeah, that's what cancer culture is, to be fair. Um, not going to lie. Um, but again, if you didn't mean it, then I guess apologize. But cancer culture basically is that. Um, that would be great. Do it, girl. Uh, that's why a lot of people. Oh, that would be great as in kill yourself. Ooh, okay. Um, that's why a lot of people say don't apologize. If you don't do it, these people will hate you. But if you do it, they'll still hate you won't forgive you and bring back this conservative this controversy every couple of months of death no not really to be honest no not really i don't think it's that deep um be honest could okay these only fans girls man um are you really doing only fans uh, another one says just because you apologize doesn't mean that you'll be forgiven apologies because you're actually sorry not because you want people to applaud you so that happened you obviously seen all that stuff not going to read everything there then we got a post here that i saw that kind of educated me on the whole thing from this user called vanity x vault on twitter they said my lot of springs 2024 features a mini skirt with a saudi flag on it for those who don't know the arabic calligraphy is that is of a saudi flag happens to be a muslim professional faith the sahada and as well as two quranic verses I can't help but wonder if the design team knew. Of course they knew. Let's not let's not insult her intelligence. They knew. She's a smart girl. Let's just be, let's be fair here. I don't think anybody should be sending the designer hate. Rather explain why this is highly offensive to Muslims. I think they did. That's why they hate her even more. They tried to explain to her in a nice way, and she said, "Cry me a river." <laughs> <laughs> which is a hard reply but you get why they're outraged um it can be hard to know what is offensive to people when dealing with um foreign cultures but what's important is that we educate ourselves and do our be 
do and do our better in or do better in the future. This isn't the first time it happens in fashion. At Chanel Spring Summer 2024, as Chanel, sorry, 1994, Karl Lagerfeld showed multiple looks using a Quranic verses that upset the Muslim community at the time. He later admitted that he thought that verses were a poem. <laughs> And of course, Karl Lagerfeld thought the verses in the Quran were poems. Fucking hell, Karl. R.I.P. is a legend, but God almighty. Anyway, the dresses from Chanel definitely look, if you're offended by verses in the Quran being used on pieces of clothing, these look way more offensive than the mini skirt because of how big they're placed on and because they're on the whitest of whitest of people. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's basically a look. Wish she removed this from the collection and apologize, says another person. Yeah, so the comments were eating her up. I won't be surprised if they knew. These brands have been away. The session with controversial shit and edginess. Another one says, I low-key feel like they ought, they would know this is a serious problem. And if they don't know it, it's just do a serious problem. I don't think the designers care, trying to shock. My, my feeling is that she knows this and wants to make a noise. Yeah, definitely. But hey, it backfired, I guess, because you didn't have to apologize. I think if you don't really care, then you shouldn't apologize really and truly you should just sit in it but i think as a smaller designer considering how far she has to go in her career still not applying to something like this is probably career suicide you know what i mean it could have some ramifications that you're not probably aware of going down the line so i can understand how she's like you know what let's just knock knock it on the head no more of this let's just go another way please because the last thing that she needs is some you know is some more flipping nonsense when she hasn't even started her flipping career just yet it doesn't make any sense in that regard so I definitely understand why she was like, you know what? Let's just leave this. I'm sorry. Here's your apology. Let's keep it going. Anyway, to make matters more interesting, there was an interesting little back and forth that I saw online regarding, uh, where is it? Where can I find it? Yeah, regarding the Bistroy designer, uh, Brick Owens, or one of the people involved with Bistroy. And they decided to put together, or I think somebody decided to put together. No, they did actually. What I'm talking about, they did. They put together a post that basically highlighted that Marilola not only may have insulted, um, you know, people from Saudi Arabia, and their flag and people of the islamic faith she also may have insulted or copied actually from bistro's for you know past collections um one day specifically made in 2018 or something right it's fucking crazy this is courtesy of grounded um stay grounded on their instagram or sorry their twitter page where they pull some of these from the instagram story so big up them for putting it out there and this is a pretty crazy way to kind of end the whole story of maulola where you're not only insulting a whole nation also your further your your fellow designers are calling you out so they posted the following they posted this they posted um this picture featuring a design from theirs which features a double hoodie with two models walking down a runway and it says brick owens we're all fans of each other aren't we and it shows a exact copy of what mao lola did it actually also features a is it a hoodie no it's a track jacket or oh, is it a hoodie it might be a hoodie actually it's a hoodie too it's a zip hoodie that features the mao lola logo that's been flipped from an umbra look which is quite cool to me i'm not gonna lie her ability to flip, flip logos is very, very underrated. She she would be a really good streetwear designer. So she flipped the Umbro logo to make it look like a Mawa Lola logo. It looks really cool. And it's the same sort of style of having um, the two hoodies or two jackets connected to each other with two models walking down the runway together, right? And then it features here on the side, you see a in Instagram message that I guess is from her to them. And she says, what you're doing is kind of lame, but do you? which I don't, you know what I mean? You kind of have to understand why people are saying this, what they're saying, like, because it obviously does look very similar and the references are what they are. Um, you can't get annoyed by that. I don't feel like, or you should just ignore it. You shouldn't be out here sending people the impression of your fellow designers. It's a bit strange, really, to be completely honest. Um, it continues. It features the, you know, the, the picture of when it was actually happened, the show, 2018. It features um, another screenshot taken from the Met Museum in 2021 that features an image of that hoodie in the exhibition of the Met Museum. I think that was like a streetwear menswear exhibition where they had all these iconic pieces um, from different designers over the years featured in a museum exhibition. That was pretty cool. Hopefully they put a bring a book out about it. And then it also features a hoodie um that the guy Brick Owens, one of the people involved in Bistro is wearing, which is a Maolola hoodie. And it says here, for those that don't know, the hoodie I'm wearing is by a Maolola, which I spent my hard earned money on. I'm supporting not beefing. So again, it's a bit of a troll because he called him out for copying designs and he's also buying her own designs. But yeah. There we go. We got him wearing a hoodie that says, Am I a Maolola fan? Am I a Mo Moa fan, sorry. And um, he's also calling them out for their designs. I think these designs copy things are always interesting to me because as a 
creative myself i just don't understand why you'd want to copy something like this when it's such an iconic piece associated with such an iconic brand bistro have always done these really clever flips on sleeve lengths and trouser lengths and hoodie sizes and pocket sizes and they've always kind of played with proportions right skewed things right into the absurd it's kind of what they kind of do so and this obviously is very iconic we will remember the show i think it's also the same show where they had the jeans you know that were kind of connected you know at the bottom as well so i wouldn't understand why you can copy that sort of stuff but then i also think as a creative you should give yourself more credit for trying to make fresh new things not just copying it's just too easy to copy or if you're going to copy flip it in a really clever way like make it your own but doing it like this is just you know they're both hoodies essentially right they're both done in hoodies um because if you look if you think about it there is a scene in the there's a scene in the in a victoria monet music video where she where it's a really cool scene where they're kind of passing a jacket down the line or something and they're all putting the sleeves around it and spinning there's a way you could kind of do that whole you know one jacket four sleeves type of thing and have the models coming in and i don't know it's something you could do to make it interesting as opposed to just doing the same type of style of garment down the runway with the double hoods with the four sleeves it just you know what i mean it's just a bit or maybe no so this is four see this looks like it's connected in the middle right so it's not four this is just like a, a hoodie with um two hoods on it and one big pouch on the front which actually looks pretty cool um compared to maybe the one here that has uh, a jacket that's connected but it's also got two different sleeves on the inside but yeah maybe it's a way to do it properly but i'm just always surprised why people copy these sort of things that's so iconic and also i just think as a creative you should challenge yourself to try and make new fresh things it should always not be run to run to copying when you don't have any ideas maybe jump off the internet watch some documentaries listen to some music and get some fresh ideas instead of just copying straight away that's always a cop out in my personal opinion but hey what do i know and what an interesting way to end that whole Mawalola thing right you get called out by a nation and now people your fellow designers are also calling you out so let's see how that kind of goes but the collection overall was pretty sick that's a that's a funny thing again it's taken away from what she's done i think that was one of her better ones to be fair and it's also showing a bit of consistency because we now we've seen two or three good ones from Mawalola going forward so that's the really sad part about it the collection was one of her best um you know we had a kanye west flipping um song debuting on a runway um we had a really stacked flip host of models right we had a Re arena shack you know fucking opening the looks there we had loads of people you know that we associate with london over there too unreleased kanye playing as a soundtrack yay and bianca in the front row all these other stars over there like banging show and then the only thing people are talking about is one skirt and obviously now the controversy around her copying the fucking double hoodie thing that's a real shame that's the only problem about it really to be fair but i thought the show was pretty sick to be fair i'm not gonna lie she's really talented um and it's only getting better and better every season she's kind of like occupying our like shane oliver sort of like space in london which i don't think is fair on her because i think she's got her own visions and i but it's still really cool to see like she's got the cool kids in the palm of her hands she's got the fashion people in the palm of her hands um she's still unapologetically black which i like um it's not like you know you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, she's also not trying to give us fucking lessons in history like other designers when they go down the fucking runway, you know? Like those Wales bonnets and stuff, you know what I mean? You have to go in there with a PhD to understand that shit and it's just, what, pinstripe tailoring some fucking, what, some some fucking you know some backless shoes and shit it's like all right cool whatever you make some good adidas this is a bit chill um but yeah i love the stuff no this is look this looks look number fucking 37 in the dance is gonna look fucking wild um and yeah some of the looks were really decent like this this shirt i think it's taken from a car lager for a flip i'm not mistaken this is really cool um these that mini skirt with the great british flag on it is banging that reminds me of like peak spice girls era jerry hallowell jerry halliway um type of vibe right sporty spice spicy spice whatever her fucking name was ginger spice whatever her fucking name was but anyway spice girls vibes it kind of gives me that sort of like feeling towards it to be honest and it just looks really on point with what's going on nowadays um and yeah it was really a fun collection i'm not gonna lie i liked a lot of it um some of the cargoes i'd wear i'd actually wear this to a rave to be honest yeah once my body is in outer mason shape i'd wear this i love the european union stars here on that sort of skirt that looks really cool 
all of it was really styled immaculately really well there's some briefs that are happening that i'm going to be probably buying with a logo on the top there i probably should have done this with my own name in it on some briefs got some other made in aliexpress but yeah these are looking good i've always liked the lonsdale more a lot of um kind of flip you've got the sony type of flip thing which i've got in a hat which i still haven't worn but hey it's there you've got these boots that look are these boots or these i don't know what they are but they look really cool they're over the knees they look really interesting i like the flip here on the um on the bomber jacket that's been made into a vest that goes over the head uh again great logos great everything i love i love i loved it all everything about it was awesome but unfortunately all the controversy around it kind of you know eclipsed what was going on on the runway and we didn't get to focus on the clothes but we did actually let me not lie the focus on the clothes was there for a couple of days but then it obviously shifted towards the flagship but yeah the clothes are sick the casting was awesome i loved the makeup all of it was great these cargoes look fucking banging they may be a little bit too martin rosie diesel inspired and that was the other brand that all the la girls like to wear there's a particular brand that they like to wear of cargos and i've seen some of my um gay fashion friends wearing them also i forgot the brand that they make them in a sort of like rusted purple colorway but um yeah those kind of look a little bit similar to them in terms of the pocket placements and the shape right um but i still like the printed shirts with the woman with the spread legs not for me i think you can only wear those things when you're a certain age you know it's like wearing it's like wearing hentai t-shirts i mean i'm not really on that but everything else banging 10 out of 10 definitely one of my favorite collections so far london fashion week and we still got a few more to go like burberry and shit but yeah marilola did some good shit over there big up her big up her and actually not a single cap in is there a single cap in there is there a single cap that i've got is that cap on the runway no is that well we have a couple of baseball caps but what not that logo cool okay cool oh actually we do have a logo it is there i'm, I'm lying it's a bit bigger and it's changed but yeah that hat is still there the hat remains i thought she wouldn't put on a runway again but i guess you know whatever makes you the monies you kind of have to go you kind of have to go